off here at the Squamish Port that caught fire and quickly completely became engulfed in flames. As you said, sent plumes of smoke all throughout town. That shelter in place, uh, the town was on lockdown throughout the entire night. That shelter in place was lifted just a few hours ago early this morning. So residents are back outside. They're still monitoring the air quality uh, very closely because the wind has picked up and is pushing uh, the plumes of smoke that are still billowing from this fire um, into town. Now, it is 100% contained, but there are still a lot of hot spots underneath the dock that crews are having a hard time getting to. We can see the smoke behind you. I'm just curious if you, you know, you can feel it, you can smell it uh, just from where you are now. Not at this point. We, we, we could smell it earlier, and definitely our reporters that were here last night reported a very chemically smell. When we first arrived a few hours ago, the wind was blowing towards us, and you can sort of, sort of smell that chemically substance in the air. Uh, blowing through town, uh, some residents have walked by and said, uh, it is, you can still smell that where it is, where the wind is blowing directly into town, but right, right where we are, we are just a little bit off to the side, so fortunately a little bit out of that, uh, that zone right there. And at this point, do we have any idea how extensive the damage is? Just by visual, uh, from where we are, we can see that the dock that it, that caught fire is completely damaged. Also, crews are having to bring excavators right now to get at some of the hot spots, so they're obviously causing more damage to help put it out. Uh, there are other docks at the port on the other side uh, of the spit, uh, which aren't damaged at all. Uh, this also could have been a lot worse. I don't know if you can see behind me, but uh, there's white pallets. Uh, those are all uh, bales of pulp. So luckily those didn't catch fire. If they did ca uh, catch fire last night, it could have been a lot worse. Uh, but the extensive, uh, extensive damage on this dock uh, is, the, the dock is completely destroyed. CTV Scott Hurst, Squamish, BC. Thanks so much, Scott. Five people.